Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Kaek Sin Kiel from Institute of Information Engineering, Chinese Academy of Sciences. It's a great pleasure to be here with you today. My topic is the new clearing attacks around the reduced Turkey check. And my talk will be divided into these aspects. Let's start with a short description of Kachak and a comparison of previous work and our contribution, and also the main ideas in our work. Kachak is also known as the winner of Wuxia's three computation. It applies the sponge construction. The Kachak F permutation is an iterated operation on a 5 by 5 arrays of 64-bit lens. Note that the last C bits of the initial state are set to zero, so it is uncontrollable by the attackers. There are 24 rounds in the permutation. Each round consists of five steps. The state of the is usually illustrated as a three-dimensional array of bits, and its lower dimensional subarrays can be called slice, row, line, column, as common terminology. So the effect of set step is to XOR the current bit with parities of two columns. The row step is a length level rotation. And the pi step is a permutation on length. And the chi step is the only nine linear step. It XOR each bit with a nine linear function of two bits in its row. It can also be regarded as a five-bit S-box operating on each row of the state. And the Utah step is to add a constant to the state. So this is the specification of these steps. Just remember the only nine-linear operation is chi, and we write the composition of set row pi as L. We focus on collision attacks in this work, and the best previous collision attacks on Kachak family include the practical results on three round members and four round members. Here, the suffix number is the digest size. Theoretical results include four round members and five round members. All these results are presented by Dana et cetera in about 2012 and 2013. In our work, we find the practical collisions of five round shake 128. It is a member in standard SHA-3. We also find collisions on two five round challenge versions with smaller digest size or state size. These smaller versions are also proposed by the Kachak team to promote crypt analysis on this family. And we also improve the theoretical results to five round Kichak to 24 and uh, six round uh, challenge version with complexities below the first day bound. We developed an extended algebraic and the differential hybrid method. This method is based on a crucial observation that the S box can be re expressed as linear transformations when the input values are constrained in some affine subspaces. Also, we developed a dedicated strategy for searching differential trails. Now, let's move on to the overview of the collision attack, including the strategy of S-box linearization and how it can be used to build a connector covering two rounds. The five-round collision attack is divided to a three-round differential that covers the last three rounds and a two-round connector that links the input difference of the differential with the initial value. Once a high probability differential delta SI to delta SO is found, we build two equation systems, E delta and EM, to find the message pairs such that after padding and the two round iterations of round permutation, the difference of the messages is exactly the target difference delta SI. The equation system E delta is built on differences. It is well determined, and its unique solution is the difference of the two messages. And the equation system EM is built on messages. It is undetermined, 
and its solution space is the message space in which we will search for collisions in the last three rounds. So the key point is how to build the equation systems E-DART and E-M. Some previously studied properties of Kachek S-Box can help. Firstly, given the input-output difference dirt in, dirt out, the set of all input values that satisfy these differences is an affine subspace. Secondly, given the output difference dirt out, the set of all compatible input differences contains at least five two-dimensional affine subspaces. Based on these properties, Dana et cetera built a one-round connector to find the message pairs that after padding and one-round permutation, the difference of the pairs is exactly the target difference delta i. This algorithm contains difference phase and value phase. The aim of the difference phase is to find exact input differences to the chi layer, say beta zero. So for each active S box in chi layer, instead of choose the input difference directly, they choose an affine subspace with four candidates instead. This is a more flexible approach to avoid inconsistency in the system. So when the beta zero is given, the value phase reduces to solving linear equations to obtain the actual message pairs that lead to the target difference delta I, SI. Our idea is to extend this one-round connector to a two-round one. And the hard core of this extension is that there is a nine-linear layer chi in the first round. We tackle this problem based on some more properties of S-Box. We observed that when the input values are constrained to some affine subspaces, S-Box is equivalent to some linear transformations. So we define these input affine subspaces as linearizable affine subspace and call it LAS for short. For example, when the input values are constrained to this two-dimensional LAS V, the S-Box is equivalent to this linear transformation. As the LASs are to be used together with differentials, we are more interested in those with fixed input and output differences, which is more relevant with the differential distribution table of Kitschak S-Box. We observe that when the DDT value is two or four, then the set satisfying this difference is an LAS. However, when the DDT value is eight, it does not allow in linearization. Exhaustive search of LASs shows that the largest LAS is of dimension two. However, this three-dimensional set contains six two-dimensional subsets that are LASs. For example, the three-dimensional subspace corresponding to input difference one and output difference one, it contains these six LASs. So in our two-round connector, we use this property to linearize the first chi layer. Specifically, we build equation systems E delta and EM on X variables, which is located before the first chi layer, and initialize E delta and EM concerning the uncontrollable bits in the initial state. Given alpha two, which is the input difference of the differential, we choose randomly a compatible beta one, and uh, inverse the linear layer to get alpha one, and decide beta zero by Dana's target difference algorithm. Then we constrain X to LASs, so that the first chi layer will be satisfied with probability one, and at the same time, the output value of the first round Y is linear to X. Also, constrain Z to subspaces to make sure that the second chi layer can be satisfied with probability one. As Z is linear to Y, Y is linear to X. The 
Equation systems exerted on Z can be converted to those on X. So solve this equation system, we get message pairs that can bypass the first two rounds with probability one. So far, we talked about the algebraic part of the method. Now let's see how to search for differential trials of high probability. An uh, n round differential trial is of the form of iterated up i beta i. The weight of the differential from beta i over chi layer is denoted by w i. An n round trial core defined by a series of beta i's is a set of n round trials where the first round is of minimum weight and the last round all compatible upper n's are considered. There are three requirements that the differential trials should satisfy. Firstly, there should be no differences in the digest part as we are considering clearance. Secondly, the degree of freedom of the LLG break part must be large enough for the clearance search. The DF here is an estimation of the degree of freedom in the two-round connector. It cannot be predicted precisely, so we set this value in to be larger than the weight of the last three rounds. Uh, note that in the last round, only the weight related to the digest part is considered. And thirdly, we want the attack to be practical, so the weight of the last three rounds must be low enough. Our searching starts from search for lightweight beta threes, where up three and up four are in CP kernel. In the forward direction, we test if there, if there is no difference in the digest part. And in the background direction, we traverse all compatible beta twos. And in the trio core defined by beta two, beta three, beta four, we check whether the other two requirements can be satisfied. This is a summary of differential trio cores we obtained. We listed the number of active S boxes from the second round to the fifth round, and also the weight of the differentials from the second round to the last to the fifth round. The sum of W2, W3, and W4D decides the final complexity of the of the uh, collision attack. There are many active S boxes in the second round. It doesn't matter because the second round is covered by the algebraic part. We also find a trio core with one more round. So with this algebraic and the differential hybrid method, we practically find clearance on three versions and also theoretical results on two versions. We listed here the searching complexity in the differential phase, the degree of freedom in the algebraic phase, and the core time spent on these two phases. As long as the degree of freedom is large enough for the searching, it is very likely to launch an effective attack. And in the cases where the degree of freedom is not large enough, we can consider messages of two block lengths or longer. And our experiments are all completed in less than three hours. And finally, I give some directions in future work. Apparently, as long as the degree of freedom is large enough, linearization can be extended to more rounds. Actually, with three round connectors, my colleagues has, have already successfully found the practical clearance on six round versions. And this result will be presented in the RAMP session later today. And secondly, the S-box linearization can also be viewed as a row level or five bit level linear approximation. The equivalent to linear transformation is correct on subspaces. It can also be said it is correct with some probability. And in the linear crypt analysis, bit level linear approximation is used to construct distinguishers. So does linearization on alternative levels exist and how to find them? This kind of linear approximation can be used in crypt analysis on both 
blocks, diverse, and hash functions. And last, uh, where system of higher degree work, systems of degree two can also be applied to build connectors. Okay, that's my presentation. Thanks for your attention. Are there any questions? I have a small one. Okay. So you uh, say you have already found three round connectors. Do you think four is possible or the degrees of freedom uh, do not allow that? Uh, in this, uh, this is six round clear. Uh, oh sorry. No, do you think uh, four round connectors are something that might happen? Uh, that depends on the uh, experiment, if the degree of freedom is uh, large enough. Okay, so maybe you will still be able to extend it to more rounds? Mm. You'll keep on working on this? Yes. Okay, thank you.